Hey, what's up guys? I'm David and this is Whitespace. Today, we're going to be looking at the basic building blocks of a website. First, let's start with HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. Now, HTML is not actually a programming language. It's a type of markup language, which means it marks up content to give it structure and semantic meaning. In HTML, we do this through the use of tags and attributes. Tags can represent things like articles, paragraphs, images, links to other pages, and a variety of other things. Attributes are used as modifiers to give a little bit more detail about a specific tag. Together, tags, attributes, and their content form HTML elements. To sum things up, HTML is where the data of a website is kept and organized. Next is CSS, or Cascading Style Sheets. This is what gives style to a website. Using what are called selectors, CSS can target specific elements or groups of elements within an HTML document and give them a set of properties. These properties can define a wide range of visual attributes, including color, size, shape, font, and much more. So in conjunction with HTML, CSS can make websites look stunningly beautiful. And finally, we have JavaScript, which is a programming language. JavaScript is actually the only programming language which is natively supported in your browser. However, you have the choice between hundreds of JavaScript frameworks to use, each with their own specialized syntax and abilities. In simple terms, you can use JavaScript to bind functionality to actions performed by the user. What happens when a user clicks a button? What happens when the user decides to scroll down the page? You, as the developer, get to decide these things. One last point I want to make about JavaScript is that it is often confused with another programming language called Java. Even though the two languages have similar names, make sure you don't confuse them because they are vastly different languages with very few similarities. So we now know a little bit about the basic tools used in building websites. We know that HTML defines the structure of content, CSS defines the look and feel of content, and JavaScript controls the behavior of content. Thank you so much for watching and for sharing an interest in web development. The web is an awesome medium because it allows you to immediately share things you create with almost anybody in the world. It requires the technical skills involved with writing code, but equally as important is the creativity to make something unique and beautiful. In the next video, we'll learn how to start coding in the languages that I've mentioned here. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that, and I'll see you next time.